It's a prison, yes. But as DOC Major Anton Ugin defends, the inmates, no matter how heinous the crime, are still human beings. When you treat people in a condition like we, we have them housed now, when they get released, what are we releasing? Mm -hmm. Are we releasing better people? People that you want to stand next to at the store? Or are we going to be releasing hardcore criminals with very sympathy for human life? because of the way they've been treated. During our tour of the Mingilao compound, we visited several different posts, and each one was in shambles. In the cells, there's some leaking coming through the wall, and also around their toilet bowls, and some toilet bowls don't flush properly. Many of the units don't have cameras, and the ones that do. These only see the front door of each cubicle. It doesn't go in the block. We didn't have enough funding to put more cameras inside. The absence of locks, the inability to properly monitor inmates, poor infrastructure and old control panels aren't even half of the improvements needed in DOC's master plan. This all has made the job for officers and staff much harder than it already is. This is unsafe. Okay, Staff don't feel safe working in this facility because our, our systems are not there. With all these risks, what keeps DOC employees here? They love what they do, right? But it's for that same that stay, there's a lot more that leave.